Well, I made it here to Hills Half Acre, and as you can see, it's a rubble field. Basically just a big rubble field. I'm going to go look for this cave that's supposed to be around here somewhere. Well, I think this was supposed to be it. And it looks like uh, boulders have been pushed down into it to block it off. You can see that looks man-made right there. As does some of those other racks, rocks being stacked. But I think this was the cave that was supposed to go down to the pit where the demon was. So I guess we're not going to see that today. Not sure what kind of rocks these are, but if you take a close look at them, you can see there's a lot of quartz that's running through veins in these rocks. So that's a you know, big thing around Mount Ida, and in this area is quartz and noviculite. All right, this is kind of towards the center where the cluster of trees is in the in Hell's Half Acre, and I can see somebody's made a little bench, a little fireplace which it's very hot in Arkansas right now, so there's a burn ban. This is a little further up. I'm going to walk around just to make sure I'm not missing anything else. So I think from uh, radar maps, there's more trees and stuff growing in the middle of this than there used to be. Here's an area. It's a little bit further up on the mountain. There's some much bigger boulders in this area, as you can see. All right. I climbed up a little bit further towards the top. If anyone wants to visit here, I would advise being very careful walking on the uh, rocks because they're all loose and uh, the potential for falling and hurting yourself is pretty high. Um, what's interesting is the road that's closest to this uh, place is called uh, Holy Spirit Loop. <laughs> Ironic, I think. Just kind of looking up into the woods, I can see that the uh, the uh, rubble goes up into the trees a little bit further. And I know on the trail up here, there was quite a bit of rubble that's out and around this area as well. I just found this rock, which has kind of a, a layered appearance to it. So that tells me these rocks are probably sedimentary as opposed to uh, volcanic type production. Anyway, you can see I'm down from the top just a little ways. Something else I wanted to mention also was that anybody who's been up uh, Pinnacle Mountain, this will look real familiar. There's a similar looking rubble field on the uh, west trail uh, heading up to the summit of Pinnacle Mountain. So for those of you who've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. There was uh, another saying about this area is that nothing grows here. Well, that's rubbish. I'm looking right here at a nice patch of moss which you can see growing in different areas. And all of this stuff on these rocks is lichens, which is alive as well. And uh, most of the rocks around here are covered with lichens, uh, which you can see here. I just wanted to also say that I've noticed that walking around in this area, the, the uh, sound of the rocks rubbing each other has an eerie sound. I don't know how deep this rubble is, but I think the fact that it has some depth when you're walking Anyway, you can see what it sounds like. This is Hell's Half Acre from the edge of the of the uh, area. As you can see, it's spread out quite a bit. It's kind of in a depression, and it's sloping down off the edge of the mountain. It goes quite, quite a bit higher back over behind those trees. This is where I hiked up to the edge of it. Well, I came back over to this pit to see if I could find any way of getting down between these rocks and taking a look, but I see no opening at all down in there. Um, it's closed up pretty good. So, any of you scared of the demon that lives in the pit in Hills, Hills Half Acre, well, you needn't worry. I think he's trapped. 
signing off.